Sam, do you feel like, you know, and, and Chris mentioned kind of Miguel playing a little bit better now when he kind of went through a little bit of a funk or, or whatever the word is. Maybe he wasn't playing at this level mm. all season. Does he give you like Regulon vibes in the sense that Regulon with Castilla was, was good, but then all of a sudden when Solaya promoted him, he went to like this crazy level where he's all of a sudden in the Derby and Classico barking at PK and Jose Jimenez and Godin. And he's now at Tottenham and Sevilla, you know, he's, he's had such a good uh, young career so far. Do you feel like Miguel Gutierrez is kind of in that, you know, maybe just, he just thrives the higher the, the occasion or, or what is it with him? Mm, it's a good question. I think the Reguilon situation cannot be really spoken about in comparison to anyone else because he um, didn't make the Castilla squad for two seasons running. He was sent out on loan to uh, Logroñez, who are a second division club now, but back then were just an unheard of third division team. Um, so just making the Castilla squad is, um, you're already a step ahead of someone like Sergio Reguilon, who all of a sudden has burst onto the scene with Real Madrid now in, in England with Tottenham. Um, so being in that squad is an achievement in itself, but I think a lot of these players are just completely technical based, very, very, um, while they lack physical traits, you would say that's why they can see so many free kicks or set pieces. Um, that's why they've had two clean sheets all year. Defensively, they are always going to be weaker than the players and the teams that they come up against. Um, and that's why I think La Liga can suit them. And it's a weird thing to say better than Segunda B in some cases. So you saw it with Oscar Rodriguez, who had a really bang average uh, season with Castilla, went to Leganes and carried that team to um, survival for, I think, two seasons straight and eventually got sold to Sevilla for a fair amount of money as well. So um, players like Miguel, I don't think it's surprising when you see them come in and, and perform well against a team like Bill Bow and they might have struggled against San Sebastian simply because, one, they've got more time and space. Two, the quality that they play with is the best around Madrid first team um, and three I think they really want to impress this is the chance that they waited their whole lives for the chance that everyone wants to jump on so it, it's a combination of things that I think makes that platform in La Liga easier than Dan Segunda B for sure for some of them